is probably a false start there. Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, November 20, 2017. And today we're headed over to a job that I was at last week to survey. The guy's got um, an air handler with no heat strips in it. And if you go back on one of the posts on my Facebook, I had posted a picture of the missing heat strips. And I think it was Joe Derrick had uh, been so detail oriented that he noticed that the wire feeding that air handler was 14 gauge. And on 14 gauge, you can't add a heat strip. So we've got the heat strips and we got a brand new Eco V4 with a remote sensor <coughs> that we're going to head over there and see if we can find a way to get the heat strips on. We're going to hope that the wiring is sufficient up to the disconnect. Bang, bang. I hate that bump. But anyway. Hopefully, we're not wasting our time driving out there and not able to get a heat strip in the unit. So stay tuned. EAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Well, crap. We've got. 14 gauge wire feeding the power to this air handler and from the look of it it's probably been in there from new construction and it's not going to be something we can just pull another wire through the same chase standard pull out disconnect and 14 gauge wire <sighs> would have been nice if they had considered that when it came to setting this unit up but I guess we'll see what we have to do to get To get a larger gauge wire in there so we can handle the amperage off of the uh, electric heat it goes over that away trying to fluff the insulation back in again I wonder if we might be able to chase a wire down where the drain and the line set come. <sighs> huh. It's not exactly promising. Chances are kind of slim to none that we're going to do anything with that. Goes down over here somewhere, it looks like. It 
goes down and through over here somewhere. Okay, so how do we, how do we find another route for high voltage to the... The garage is down and over there in the front of the house. We're on the back of the house. The garage is this side. We're going to need to figure out how to get a wire there. As far as the Ecobee thermostat goes, I plan on putting the control here. And then the remote sensor would go in here somewhere. Probably over here by the return this room stays cold partially because it's always got the door closed which is a non-option for changing right now so I guess we're gonna see if we can find a way to get a wire from the breaker box to the attic over here close the door up here so we don't have a cat get in the attic the garage stops somewhere between this door and that window and then our attic space is up there I guess I need to find the crawl space and see what what we're dealing with down there maybe that'll help us a little bit Figuring out a path to take. So the collection um, video would be helpful for that. The problem is that eBay doesn't allow me to post links to. Hmm exterior sites anymore. They've gotten just more and more paranoid. It's really frustrating. Wow. Really frustrating. I'm not even allowed to share. I can't share my phone number. Really? With buyers. Um, yeah, I mean, you think you're going to sell something like that's complicated or expensive. You could talk to somebody. Yeah. But they have gotten... Ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I guess people eBay's good at connecting people, and then people will take the transaction off of eBay, so then they yeah. don't get their cut. But they just keep right. they keep making it harder and harder every year. Mm. So frustrating. Yeah, definitely. But I can I mean, see where they kind of want to try to keep everything on eBay. But they're not. But that's they're, ridiculous. They're not making it easier though. I mean, I can't. It's just you know, it's more rules to follow, and it's mm -hmm. annoying. But when you have good business you can't like really complain about it you know, right that's how i make my living so yeah would you be able to hand me well it may be simpler just to hand me the whole bag than to try and find what i'm looking for in it right. you got some tools out over here you need any of those no all right um i'm gonna head downstairs and get some lunch do you, okay. you need anything else for me? Or? At this point, I'm going to drop this uh, electric kit in. Okay. And then go get materials to reroute the electrical. Okay. Um, and I assume a credit card is okay? Absolutely. Yeah. I can right. take, take plastic. Okay. Thank you. where
to um, yeah. conduit together. Yeah. So we can pick a uh, pleasing as possible location. Yeah, my my objective is always to minimize the chance. No, I think we can probably find something that'll work. plug and play on this just like that and then what we'll have to do is get the wiring to come from the garage all the way up in here so I'm going to go grab materials and we'll be back in a little while. Good afternoon. We've got our materials for uh, routing the wire back to the back. We're headed back shortly. Only a few minutes away, thank goodness. But anyway, this shouldn't be too terrible other than you know, I gotta go all the way to the back of the back end of the crawl space and punch a hole out and then I've got to route the wire up the outside of the house I've got some rigid conduit so that I don't have to fight with flexible conduit not to mention the potential for flexible conduit to be damaged outside so we'll see how it goes and how it turns out so we got it in got the wire run got the conduit in there just need to put the cover on that box we've got a couple of clamps holding it down Throw that cover on and then we'll go test the system all right for right now we're just testing auxiliary heat temperature rise and we're testing it at the farthest run in the attic up here so this is the bonus room and this is the farthest run away from the system once I go to testing heat pump operation, I'll go to the supply plenum closer to the unit. Because right now, I don't want to go there until I have the electric heat off. Because I'd be getting radiant temperature off of it. So right now, we got about 15 degrees temperature rise. Just for fun, let's see what system performance says. So system performance is going to look for heat pump operation primarily. And that is 27, almost 28 degrees. With a 5 kilowatt strip on a ton and a half unit. We may not actually get there, but we'll see. I'm not worried too much about actually maxing out the temperature rise on the heat pump or the heat strips because at the moment I'm basically just trying to burn off any residual stink from the new heat kit getting about a 20 degree temperature rise and for now I'm gonna be happy with that I'm gonna relocate my air temperature sensor back to the plenum and fire the system in heat pump mode total external static is just under five about four and a half so 
So we're going to go in here, go to measurements, static pressure. Going to capture 4.6 inches of total static and then activate the return and pull off the supply side sensor. Let it balance out for a little while and confirm what the return side static is. Can you hear the uh, system sucking into a vacuum? We're pretty close to it. Generally speaking, I would expect to see 25 to 35 degrees of super subcooling, super subcooling, and a lot more suction pressure than we have at this point. I'm going to discuss the situation with the customer and see if he wants to add some refrigerant. Excuses, excuses. I didn't get a uh, closeout video on this one, <coughs> but I've got a couple of screenshots for you. System was deficient on refrigerant. Needed a little more than three pounds, but three pounds was getting us up in to the uh, ballpark for refrigerant charge. So we got three pounds extra in there and um, it's doing a lot better job heating than it was initially without the refrigerant. Confirmed operation on the heat strips and um, thermostat functionality. So all in all I think we made significant and good improvements. Got the heat strips in there, got the refrigerant charge. So all in all, we're good. Tomorrow, I've got a visit to a guy that wants an estimate on a, it sounded like he wants a bath fan and a duct run. So we'll see what that is tomorrow. And uh, until then, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And don't forget if you use the coupon code R-A-R-D-O-N at truetechtools.com, you can save 7% on your purchase. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.